In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray in the words that Jesus, our Saviour, taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. On this eighth day of our Holy Spirit Novena, we will reflect and pray for the Holy Spirit's gift of fear of the Lord. Several places in Scripture, it says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Pope St. Gregory the Great indicates that this gift is the launch pad, the foundation, if you like, for all the other gifts. The world fears what it does not understand. And we have all had, at some time or another, this kind of fear, and often rightly so, for there are some things that we should be afraid of. Our first instinct in the face of this kind of fear is to run and hide. And if our life is full of this, it can leave us turned inward, depressed and anxious. This is not the kind of fear that the Spirit brings. How many times when God sent heavenly messengers did he say, did they say, do not be afraid? And Jesus repeated the same thing over and over again to his disciples. Do not be afraid. God does not want us cowering in his presence. And so the fear of the Lord is not a servile fear whereby a person serves God simply because he fears punishment, whether some sort of temporal punishment in this life or eternal punishment in hell. A genuine relationship with God is based on love, not fear. Therefore, with the Holy Spirit, we stand in awe before the might and power and majesty of God with a reverential fear that leads to worship and adoration. We know that God's immense power is not meant to destroy us, but to save us. We realize our creatureliness and our dependence upon God, and we gain a true poverty of spirit and a sense that we never want to be separated from God who is love. And so a holy fear moves us to do God's will and to avoid sin because of love for God, who is all good and deserving of all our love. This is similar to the way a child should not be motivated to obey a parent simply because they fear punishment, but because of a love and respect that they have for them, a reverence they have for them. A person who loves someone does not want to disappoint or to break the other person's heart. One should fear hurting a loved one and violating that person's trust more than one should fear punishment. All the same, the gift of fear of the Lord does bring a healthy sense of fear of the punishment due to sin, including the fires of hell, even though that this should not be the motivating factor for loving God. The gift of fear of the Lord moves us to have a real sorrow for our sins, even venial sins, and to do penance to atone for sins committed and then to be vigilant to avoid the near occasion of sin and to struggle against our personal weakness and fight temptation. The gift of fear brings to perfection the virtue of hope. A person who respects God as God and trusts in his will and anchors his life firmly in God. He approaches the Lord with humility, docility and obedience. We believe steadfastly in the promises of forgiveness of sins and eternal life in heaven. And so we pray for the gift of holy fear. Come, O blessed spirit of holy fear, penetrate my inmost heart, that I may set you, my Lord and God, before my face forever. Help me to shun all things that can offend you and make me worthy to appear before the pure eyes of your divine majesty in heaven, where you live and reign in the unity of the blessed Trinity, now and forever. For my part, I surrender in love to you, Holy Spirit, to every grace and prompting. Do with me what you will. Amen. And our novena prayer, O Holy Spirit, divine consoler, I adore you as my true God. I bless you by uniting myself to the praises you receive from the angels and saints. I offer you my whole heart and give you heartfelt thanks for all the benefits you have bestowed and do unceasingly bestow upon the world. 
You are the author of all supernatural gifts and enrich with immense favours the soul of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God. I implore you to visit me by your grace and your love and grant me the favour I so earnestly seek in this novena. O Holy Spirit, Spirit of Truth, come into our hearts, shed the brightness of your light on all nations, that they may be of one faith and pleasing to you. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of Apostles, pray for us.